guys, Jackie and Mike here with Explorers in Motion. We are in Montana right now, and while we were here, we decided to check out the National Bison Range. This is in Charlo, Montana. Now, what is so interesting about this area is this land once belonged to the Salish and Kutenai uh, American Indian tribes, and they fought with the federal government for so long to get this back. So in 1909, the federal government and uh, uh, Theodore Roosevelt came in and they uh, declared the land as um, a beautiful reservation for these bison. But in doing so, they confiscated the land from the Native Americans, right? But they wanted to, the federal government and Roosevelt wanted to increase the number of bison in the area. So at that time, they, the, this uh, reserve was donated 40 bison. Now the population is up between 350 and 500 bison. Isn't that incredible? Now, when we arrived, I expected to see bison everywhere, right? That's what you would think, but not so much. So with this beautiful reserve, not only are there bison, but this is a proghorn. I've never seen a proghorn before. This is a first for me, and she is gorgeous. They also have black bears here, which we got to see one. Some animals that are here that we didn't get to see is the bighorn sheep and um, the elk and deer. But that foghorn, oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Oh, I just love it. So look at this gorgeous area. What is another thing that's interesting about this area is this was created um, by a prehistoric glacier um, that was right here in this valley. It was called Glacier Lake Missoula, and it was formed by glacial activity. And so in this area, you have the Mission Mountains, which we're standing on. We are now at 4,800 feet. That is the peak. And then you have the Mission Valley, which is where the glacier was and, you know, the water was. And then you also have the Jocko River which is that gorgeous green river that's running through this valley. And I'm sure you'll see it in some of the videos. Oh, isn't this just breathtaking? They have some material up at the top of the mountain that kind of talks about how the glacier uh, came into this area during the ice age. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bison here eating. They don't want to have anything to do with us. But we did find them sporadically around the area but i guess i was expecting oh there's the jocko river and it beautiful it's so green so this is the money shot that's what mike said this is the money shot because we got to see a bison right next to us on the road and he is a big bull too you can see this thing is gorgeous so I, we were both so excited that we both videotaped it. So this is my version of capturing this huge bull. Wow, isn't he magnificent? Right next to, the, to us. Oh my God. Just gorgeous. Wow. Like I said, we've seen them in Yellowstone National Park and in the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And uh, around Yellowstone, wow, they're just, you see them all over. There's Mike videotaping this bull. Look how many cars are there. Oh, it's so, so magnificent to see this bull walking along the side of the road. Wow. <laughs> just magnificent. I love it. So... Now we're on to, we were going to Glacier National Park, but there was an avalanche and some of the going to the Sun Road is closed. So we are deciding that we are just going to go check out more of Montana and we're going to head over those mountains right there into Idaho. Well, thanks for watching guys.